Today we have an iPad Pro 11 inch, third gen with no touch response. The customer said the screen was broken after a drop, so he followed an online tutorial to replace it himself. The screen was replaced, but the touch didn't work. After trying multiple screens, he brought it to us. First, we tried another screen to confirm it was a motherboard issue. We disconnected the battery, transferred the flex cables, and tested again. Unfortunately, the touch still didn't work, so we knew it had to be the motherboard. Next, we disconnected the battery with a plastic film and went straight to the microscope. We set our multimeter to diode mode and compared readings from the software to the actual readings on the touchscreen connectors. Everything seemed normal. Next, we checked where the touchscreen lines were going using the software. It pointed us to two integrated circuits, ICs, responsible for touch, U2 on 20 and U2019. Both of these ICs were protected by a metal shield. We had to carefully remove the motherboard from the housing, disconnecting over 10 cables and screws. After applying heat and using alcohol, we lifted the motherboard and removed all the stickers. To remove the shield, we preheated the board to 160 Celsius, then used a heat gun to carefully lift the shield section by section, making sure not to damage any components underneath. Do you know how quickly you could become a mobile repair expert? Visit CellPhoneRepairAcademy.com and dive into our hands-on training programs. Whether you're a beginner or looking to sharpen your skills, we will help you master the craft. Your path to a new career starts now. Join us today. Once the shield was off, we tested around the two ICs and noticed something unusual. A very low reading on a capacitor. This usually indicates a partial short, where there is some resistance in the circuit, but not enough to completely stop the flow of current, leading to abnormal behavior. To confirm, we compared the readings with a similar donor motherboard from an iPad Pro 5th generation 12.9 inch and the difference confirmed that the customer's tablet indeed had a partial short. Then, after testing the customer's iPad one more time, we discovered a resistor on the affected line with a low reading on one side and an even higher reading on the other, indicating the source of the partial short. This meant the partial short was somewhere along the line connected to the low reading side of the resistor. We connected our multimeter probes to the power supply sprayed the area according, injected voltage, and pinpointed the faulty capacitor. After applying heat, we removed the faulty capacitor. Then we tested it one more time, and the readings were normal. Next, we replaced the capacitor with a good one from the donor board. We reinstalled the shield, reassembled everything, and put the motherboard back in. Powered it on and the touch is now working. Thanks for watching.